والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبته ومن اهتدى بهديه إلى يوم اللقاء When Allah Rabbul Izzah revealed the verses at the end of Surah Baqarah لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدو ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله to Allah Rabbul Izza belongs the dominions of the heavens and earth. And if you conceal what is in your hearts or make it apparent, Allah Rabbul Izza will hold you to account to it. Now when these verses were revealed, the Sahaba were overwhelmed. Because the Ashab are a very sincere generation and they try to implement every verse of the Qur'an. So trying to implement these verses, trying to control the thoughts that would occur in their minds was overwhelming. Uh, how do you control what happens in your heart and mind? And the verse stated that if a thought crosses your mind, whether you make it apparent, as in act on it, action it, verbalize it, or you conceal it and do nothing about it, Allah will still hold you to account for it. Overwhelmed, they came to the Prophet wasallam, and look at their demeanor. Allah Rabbul Izzah be pleased with them. The hadith says, Baraku al rukab they fell on their knees to the Prophet. Like they haven't come in arrogance and in cockiness or in challenging, rather in humility, on their knees. O oh Prophet, Amartana bi salati fasallayna. You ordered us to pray, we prayed. Wa amartana bi zakati fazakayna. You ordered us to give zakat, we gave zakat. Wa amartana bil jihadi fajahadna. And you ordered us to perform jihad and go out in the path of Allah and campaign, and we did. Wa lakin al an jaati lati la nastatiya. But now a command has come that we simply cannot do it how can you control a thought that crosses your mind and then before the majesty of Allah help be held accountable for it so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said aturiduna an taqulu sami'na wa asayna do you wish to say we hear and we disobey Instead say, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا We hear and we obey. غُفْرَانَكَ رَبَّنَا Your forgiveness, O Lord. So these Ashab, the companions of the Rasul, these superhuman giants on their knees start begging, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا O Lord, we hear and we obey. We seek your forgiveness, Ya Rabb. And as they utter this, and submission takes over their hearts completely. Jibreel comes with the concession. Allah Rabbul Izza has said, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت. Allah will not burden a soul more than it can bear. For the person is what he has done and against him is only what he has done. Meaning, if you do good, it will be for you and if you do wrong, it will be against you. But no longer will evil thoughts be held against you in the day of judgment and in the court of Allah. Evil thoughts that you held yourself back from and didn't action. Uh, and may Allah Rabbul Izza bless and accept from one and all. There is a lesson here, dear ones. Only when you surrender to the wisdom, decree, command of Allah Rabbul Izza, does Allah Rabbul Izza open the doors for you, find a way out for you, give concessions to you. So in your life, you will see Allah Rabbul Izzah's commands say something clearly, but your reality would be different from that. Or you think, how can I do that? Tell yourself what the companions said. 
say we hear and we obey and do your best in obeying the verses and the commands that you know you should and then watch as Allah Rabbul Izza opens the doors for you, easens your burden for you, finds concessions for you. May Allah bless you, may Allah guide you, may Allah guard you. فَقُلْتُ مَا قُلْتُ إِن تَكُوا حَسَنَةً فَمِنَ اللَّهِ وَإِن تَكُوا سَيِّئَةً فَمِنَ نَفْسِي وَشَيْطَانِ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ